This episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Big tech is pretty powerful and they profit off of exploiting your personal data. So put a layer of protection between your online activity and those tech juggernauts by using ExpressVPN. When you run ExpressVPN on your device, it hides IP addresses, making your activity harder to trace and sell to advertisers. And it's incredibly easy to use. Download the app, tap one button, and you're protected, all without slowing your connection. That's why it's rated the number one VPN service by TechRadar, The Verge, and others. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash dbpre or clicking the link in the description below. From the shores of Crab Key to the crap stables of Casino Royale, from Russia with love to Moonraker at the edge of outer space, no man has saved the world more times than Bond. James Bond. He's the OG action hero, the slickest Scott there ever was, the coldest warrior of the swinging 60s. After a climbing accident in the French Alps took his parents, the young James studied abroad and graduated to the Ministry of Defense, just in time for World War II. He rose through the ranks, quickly becoming a commander of the Royal Navy. And when you find the thing you're good at, in his case wanting murder, never do it for free. So after the war, James decided on Her Majesty's Secret Service and became a special agent of MI6. And they were so impressed, he was given his first two state-sanctioned assassinations. With this baptism in blood, Bond was granted the legendary 00 status and a license to kill with impunity. As the premier defender of the West, Agent 007 is a jack of all trades when it comes to kicking commie ass and terrorist ass and basically everyone's ass for the past 60 years. From the novels to the movies to the comics and games, he's been rebooted tons of times, but they're all still Bond. Bond is a master of infiltration, disguise, acrobatics, driving, diving, skiing, boating, climbing, horseback riding, <gasps> airplane pilot, swordsman, knife fighter, knife thrower, people thrower, and deadliest of all, gamer. Bond carries his classic Walter PPK, among the world's first successful double-action semi-automatic pistols. While it only carries nine rounds, its small size makes it optimal for concealment. And a microdermal sensor in the grip coated to Bond's fingerprint means only he can fire it. It even comes with unique ammo that breaks apart upon entry and creates eight exit wounds, traveling like a bullet but hitting like a shotgun. Especially deadly considering Bond has the golden eye of an expert marksman, able to take out a room of armed guards in a single second, or shoot the fuel tank of a helicopter from a speeding boat a quarter of a mile away. He's just as deadly disarmed. Bond combines multiple martial arts like judo, boxing, Krav Maga, Muay Thai, and Jiu Jitsu, allowing him to keep up even when outnumbered. This mix of styles is likely the Welsh self-defense system known as Gushinkwai, which is taught by the modern Special Air Service. Though that all pales in comparison to his greatest ability. Banging. Bangin'. Laying down pipe! He's so proficient at seduction, it actually feels more like a superpower. Look, we're not kidding. He once seduced a female assassin sent to kill him so thoroughly, she threw herself in front of the bullet meant for him. She knew him for less than two minutes. It's a tale as old as time, Wiz. Boy meets girl. Girl tries to crush boy between her superhumanly strong thighs. Girl's spine gets snapped in half by a helicopter. Punchline, fairy tale ending. Okay then, reeling this whole conversation back a bit, come back in a few days as we cover Bond's opponent, the legendary hitman, John Wick. Boy meets girl, girl is nuclear physicist, Dr. Christmas Jones. Can't make this stuff up.